Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to share with you these three looks I created with the beautiful Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So let's jump right into look number one. So for step one, I applied Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is an anti-crease eyeshadow primer. And then I went in with this pink shade right here that's called Georgia using the 203 Blending Concealer Brush by the It Cosmetics Live Beautifully collection. Next, I applied the shade Puree to my crease using a small shadow brush. This is a beautiful, warm brown shade. And then using this same shade, I am taking it to the outer V and the outer lower lash line. Here you see me spraying a little bit of Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and with this I am applying a little bit of the shade Lashes to add some glow to the center of my top lid. Here you see me picking up the Summer Yum and adding it as my transition shade. I really liked how this shade worked to kind of blend things in and tie the whole look together. And then took the same shade down to my outer lower lash line. And next I used the shade Nectar to highlight my brow bone, the inner corner of my eyes, and then the inner lower lash line. Now I'm ready to conceal using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and of course a dampened beauty blender to blend things out. For contouring, I'm going to be using the bronzer in my Smashbox Shape Matters palette and for bronzing, I'm going to use my all-time favorite Benefit Hola. Now as a blush, I'm going to go with Benefit Sugar Balm and as a highlighter, I'm going to be using the shade Nectar in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Here you see me using L'Oreal's Super Liner Black Buster to draw a wig line. Now to tie the whole eye look together, I'm going to be applying this mink eyelashes and lining the outer lower lash line using Master Kajal by Maybelline. And as usual for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be applying L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Now onto my lips, I applied the Maybelline Color Sensational 720 in Notting Hill Nude and a touch of the shade Nectar on top to brighten things up. And that's it, that is look number one. Well, let's move on to look number two. For look number two, I'm going to start out by filling in my brows using the shade Puree and the ABH number 20 brow brush. As my all over shadow, I am picking up the shade Nectar and on my crease, I'm going to be applying the shade Candied Peach. Now you see me mixing up just peachy and candied peach. And I'm going to be taking this two down to my outer lower lash line. Here I'm taking a little bit more of Candied Peach and I'm going to pack that with a small shadow brush on my crease, kind of in the outer V. Next I'm picking up a little bit of the shade Lushes on my pinky finger and brighten up the inner corner of my eyes next to the tear duct. And using a small angled brush, I'm going to be extending lashes from the inner corner to the inner lower lash line. Please disregard my crazy bangs, I'm really hoping they will grow out really soon. Now it's time to conceal the under eye area using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light. To highlight my face, I'm going to be using the shade Nectar in the Sweet Peach palette. And as blush, I'm going to be using the shade Just Peachy also in the Sweet Peach palette. Hey, powder is powder, so feel free to experiment with your palette. And here I'm using the shade Charmed, I'm sure, also from the Sweet Peach palette to bring more definition to the outer lower and upper lash line. Next, I'm going to be curling my lashes using my Sephora Eyelash Curler and applying two coats of Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced on my lashes. 
And for my lips, I chose the Maybelline Color Sensational 728 Honey Beige Lipstick and I applied a little bit of 902 Fuchsia Flash also by Maybelline on top. And there you have it, this is look number 2 using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Now let's get started with the final look number 3. So for this third look, I am going to be applying peaches and cream as my transition shade. And for my crease, I am going to be applying the shade Puree. Now on the outer corner of my crease, I am going to be adding a bit of Charmed, I am sure, to kind of give my eyes more depth. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of glow to the center of my lid by applying blushes and a little bit of the shade Nectar on top to brighten that area even more. Now using that same shade Nectar, I'm going to brighten the inner corner of my eyes and the inner lower lash line. I purposely wanted to keep this look super versatile and wearable, so I'm off to concealing the under eye area and for these I'm using a new favorite, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer and my Beauty Blender to blend things out. Now on to priming my lashes and for that I'm going to be using step 1 of the L'Oreal Full Slash Superstar Mascara and Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on top. And to finish my complexion, I'm going to gently bronze and highlight my face using the Shape Matters palette. Now as blush, I'm going to go once again with Benefit Sugar Bomb, I just really wanted to go for a very natural look entirely. And this time for my lips and cheeks, I'm going to be applying Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color Stick in the shade Malibu Berry. Finally, I am adding a little bit of lip gloss to my lips. And this time I'm choosing Lancome's Lapsulu Gloss Sheer in 317 Pulpoir. And with that, we complete look number three. I hope you enjoyed this very natural look. I am now officially in love with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So that's it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give this video a thumbs up, be sure to leave me your requests in the comments below, which palette should I feature on my next 3 looks 1 palette video. Thank you so so much for watching, it means the world to me and I will talk to you all again on my next one, bye!